Hey you guys, it's Marissa from Push Pass Paralysis back with another video. This time I wanted to kind of piggyback off of a past video that I've done um, a while back um, about accepting help. And this time I wanted to touch on asking for help and kind of broad brush it uh, instead of just focusing. I will touch on um, disabilities, but I wanted to make it an even bigger topic because I feel like it is. I feel like many people can relate. So I've not been very good at asking for help um, throughout my life. I've been disabled since birth and I've always had a stubbornness, a pride to me that even if it's as simple as Oh, let me get the door for you. Sometimes I'll let you, but other times, even if it means you could just come up next to me and go, I will maneuver the chair, open the door, stick the chair in, push myself through while holding the door, visibly struggling, just so I could do it. Being strong isn't really a choice when you have a disability. Um, it is, I guess, but you're in for a very boring, isolated, small life if you're not strong mentally, physically, emotionally. But there comes a point where that blocks connection, relationships, being in touch with your own emotions, being in touch um, with your own thoughts and, you know, processing traumas or situations. And I thought about how many people, especially over the last several years, and especially with my brother's anniversary just passing uh, and he passed from suicide, how many people refuse and won't ask for help? And I thought about the different categories, you know, people with disabilities, addicts, single mothers. They're some of the strongest, most stubborn people who refuse to show weakness because they have to set an example for their kid. But they're also some of the most deserving. If you're a good person and you could still put out love and you can make people feel loved and seen and that just exudes from you you deserve all of the love abundance prayers everything that you would never ask for and if you did i can promise you you'd get much more than you could ever dream now let's go a step further in the age of the internet everybody's monetizing everything and although it can make us feel more isolated, we are technically more connected than we've ever been. With the click of a button, you can connect with people all around the world. And that includes asking for help. But you're going to be called every name in the book. Grifter is the big one. I remember when I me to go fund me for my family after um, my dad passed away. He passed away young and he, we were left with nothing. We, we had a measly um, pension check that has since, you know, ran out. But we weren't even getting that yet. We were just trying to figure out how are we going to pay rent until we could move and then possibly give him a memorial and I got blowback for it you're going to get blowback no matter what but there's going to be people that resonate with you and stick by you no matter what if it's something you need even if it's something that you want if it's a dream that you've had and you're reaching out for prayers or for, you know, financial help to make it come true. And you're already living it and being it and doing it and 
you know, whether that's you do have a course out or whether that's you do coaching or whether you're doing free things, but connecting with people all day, every day through your device. Like there's plenty of free ways to do that now. YouTube is a way, any social media platform, Twitter is, you know, there's multiple ways to do it on there now. You could do a video, you could do a tweet, which you could do long tweets now, long form tweets. Um, Even the the extra space is enough, but you could do really long form tweets. Um, Twitter spaces is another one. There's so many ways that people connect with you and I feel like it's robbing them. This is something that I've learned as because I'm not a good receiver. I'm not good at receiving things from people. You, I heard this once from a, a spiritual coach. You are robbing somebody of giving to you. If they want to genu- genuinely give as a gift to you, whether that's, you know, any of the five love languages. You know, if they want to say thank you, I love you, um, give you a hug. If they want to actually give you a gift. If they want to, you know, bless you with money. You're robbing them if you don't accept it. And if you don't ask when you need it. What's the first thing that the people who really truly know you and love you say if they find out that you're in trouble? Why didn't you ask? I'm right here. Why didn't you ask? Why didn't you call? Why didn't you text? So why not? Never be afraid to ask. And I'll leave you with that. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Please share it. And I will see you guys next time.